trying to get Bible Gateway. So, the tide has turned. Why am I so passionate about that this morning? Well, I wrote a vine dresser word that only you guys are going to get to hear, Julia, if you can come Thursday night. And it has everything to do with God and his timing. So I'm going to go to Psalm 118, okay? Can you bear with me? I thought I had this up, so. Psalm 118, those of you listening on my podcast, you can do that. Go to Psalm 118 in the message. So I was, uh, someone, a great prophetic person was, was thinking about Psalm 118 in the message. I thought, I'll check it out. You know what's beautiful about the Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit says different things to different people. But this, I don't like try to write vine dresser words, but this inspired a vine dresser word in concerning our voice, concerning the house of wine, a house of wine being a place you can run in and find the breakthrough for your voice. And if you see in Psalm 118 in the message, <clears throat> sorry, my voice, it's like, it's like all this stuff going on in Psalm 118. I mean, he's thanking God because his love never quits. Because his love never quits, he keeps saying that in this particular psalm. And then he kept saying, the tide has turned. So, this is the deal. I had uh, three calls today. And each one was different situations. And it's like, well, this is a word for different people in different situations. Now, for you financially, it might be that. It's like... You know, when you make a declaration out in the outside, I'm going to take a drink. So when you make a declaration, <clears throat> I'm not going to edit that on the podcast. When you make a declaration out loud, the tide has turned. And you find a word in the word of God that's, that's aligned with that. You can't help want to declare that over you. So this, this, is, this is nothing more than me declaring over you. Let it be. And that his love never quits his tender everlasting love never quits so i put all this together believing that god is coming uh, like a mighty roaring lion to enter the scene he's already already been here but to enter through voices got to remember your voice whether figuratively or literally to tell you that God has turned the tide, might be in a relationship, might be in a difficulty. His love never quits. God has turned the tide. I wrote this vine dresser word, and I was talking about a feeling swatted around. Hey, Tim, good to see you. Feeling swatted alone. And it was just like a cat swatting, and you're the mouse. I, I read the word to my husband, and he's like, a cat? I hate cats. Why do you have to say cats? Can't you just say, and he started to give me examples. I said, listen, this is what the Lord said. That sometimes we get in situations of life, I'm talking to you now, that you feel you got swat around and you're the mouse and there's a tomcat after you. And what does God say? He says, come on in here. Hide yourself in me. In me is the refuge. In me is the place where you can't hide no matter what's going on around. And God says, I have turned the tide. The neat thing about this Neat. That's just an interesting word I use. The cool thing about this is we can still declare that God has turned the tide even before we have a physical manifestation of it. Are you following me? Because I really believe there's a word going on. I'm not the only one saying it, and I didn't get it from anyone. I got it from Psalm 118. That God's like, hey, you've got people on your right and your left. You're facing the battle. You're, you're the, the tomcat is swiping you out. But as you take refuge in the Lord... You can trust in him. You can. You may be hemmed in. Psalm 118 in the message says, I'm hemmed in by barbarians, but in God's name I'll take my place in refuge. And it even says, in God's name I rub their faces in the dirt. Nothing like the message. The tide has turned. God has turned the tide. You may be in a situation where like swarming bees. That's all they are, little bees. They're not going to bite you. It's like any distraction. Because, see, the enemy knows the tide has turned, so he's going to give you a little resistance. I don't put too much emphasis on the enemy, but just, you know, you can, where is this coming from? Is it coming from my emotions? Am I reacting and not responding? Put that aside and make declarations that God is your song. He is your strength. He's your salvation. 
You can hear the shouts, like the tide has turned. Do you know there are shouts, if you listen? There's shouts in the heavenlies. I think the angels are doing high fives with each other. They're rejoicing. The tide has turned. Come on, guys. The tide has turned. And then as we make that declaration, God, over my finances, over my relationships, over that situation, I am going to declare the tide has turned in your word. It says the tide is turning. You know what the angels who are doing high fives do? They're like, oh, they said it. Let's make it happen. Let's be ministering spirits. Let's go forward. I better believe that. I believe, believe that. I don't know how else to say it. But someone live or recorded needs to hear this, that the tide has turned. You know, um, I had uh, one you know, amazing forerunner of the kingdom of God. She was just sharing a situation. And I, at the very end, it was a very difficult situation. At the very end, I just said, hey, can I read this vine dresser word? I'm saving it for Thursday night for the voice camp. But I just feel like you need to hear this word. And it was like, oh, wow. Like, were you in my journal? You know, the tide has turned. No, I'm not in your journal. The Holy Spirit's in your journal. So basically, I want you to read Psalm 118 in the message, if you can. And I want you to see this, this battle going on and then the thank you in the midst of the battle. Like verse 21, thank you for responding to me. You've truly become my salvation. The stones the masons discarded as flaw is now the capstone. The cornerstone, Jesus is in your corner. So you know the tide is turned. This is the very day, it says later on, that God acted. Let's celebrate and be festive. Blessed are those who are entering God's name. From God's house, we bless you. God is God. God has turned the tide. So they are like, hey, they maybe have not seen a physical manifestation of this. Right? The tide has turned. Wherever you jump in on this video, over your situation, over your circumstances, the tide has turned. Let me be the one to shout it. There's other people shouting it. But I just felt so passionate about this. I've even spoken about it already. But I just need, to, I just think we need to hear that again. I think we need to make those declarations. We can get swatted around by the enemy, but ultimately, as we know Jesus is our cornerstone and we're on the rock and the rock doesn't shake, ultimately, I really see it. This is the way I saw it. Just flicking, them, flicking those things away like they're flies. Get out of there. Jesus, I'm on the rock. I mean, come on. You know, let's see that. Look a little fly away. The enemy has no, I mean, you, you, you just don't have to, this is it with the enemy. You're not subject to him. He is subject to you. So, the God has turned the tide. Mm. Do I have to say that one more time? Hmm. Listen, this is the verse. I was right on the cliff edge, ready to fall. When God grabbed me and held me. God's my strength. He's also my song and now he's my salvation. Hear the shouts. Hear the triumph songs in the camp of the saved. The hand of God has turned the tide. Say it again. The hand of God is raised in victory. The hand of God has turned the tide. Psalm 118. I don't know what verse it is. 18, 17, 16, 15. You know, it's exciting when you can say something like that. And in your heart, in your spirit, you see God turning the tide for people. Like right now, prophetically, someone wants a baby and they haven't been able to conceive. God has turned the tide. I know I'm not supposed to prof we prophesy like that. They tell us in school we shouldn't prophesy like that. But I'm just going to because I believe it for you. Live or recorded, God has turned the tide. Then there's some of you that your backs are against the wall. I mean, talk about being hemmed in. It might be financial. It might be relational. It might be something God's saying. And God's like, whoa, you may be hemmed in, ready to fall, but I'm going to grab you and hold you. God's going to grab you and hold you, whoever that is. You're not going to fall. You're going to give God your praise and your song, and God has turned the tide. This is my husband's word on this one phrase here, so I don't take credit for this. He said, the amount of breakthrough you need a lot of times the amount of praise you release for that breakthrough is what causes the breakthrough. So it's not like a striving thing. Don't hear me that. Don't hear him that. So this kind of goes along with the tide is turned. I believe the more you see, no matter how hemmed in you are, no matter how you feel swatted around by the tomcat, 
that ultimately there is a place to go to and be rest and believe and speak and declare the tide is turning. You know where that place is? Do you know where that place is? I'm sorry. Do you know where that place is? It's in Song of Songs, chapter 2, verse 4. It's in the house of wine where you get to experience his unrelenting love divine. So as you come and rest in the house of wine, you're shored up in your identity. The house of wine represents his kingdom. It represents his Holy Spirit. I really see this in my mind. I've been using the house of the fine as a place of breakthrough for your voice. We're doing that in find, uh, what is it, redeemyourvoice.com. Just so you know, redeemyourvoice.com is where some of this is coming from. That you're in the house of wine. You're... You're realizing he's your strength. You're, you're understanding his song that he's singing you inside the house of wine. You're drinking of his love divine. You're inebriated with it. Not in a bad way. It's like inebriated because he's so awesome. And you can go out from the house of wine realizing the house of wine is in you. So you take it wherever you go. So then when you face something, instead of reacting, you're learning to respond. And you spawn with your declaration, God has turned the tide. I really believe that for you. I'm looking at you live, recorded. Yeah, I'm a little more excited than normal. I can be peaceful, but I also can be very excited when God is speaking to you about seeing you in your travail and releasing you. When God is saying, come into the house of wine, I want to wrap you with a robe. And, and this is how he said it. A wrap with a robe that smells like it had two doses of the softener on it. It just smells good. And there's peace and there's hope in that robe, in the house of wine. God has turned the tide. Can you declare it? Say it right now. God, I'll make a declaration. God has turned the tide. I am facing this, whatever that is, but God has turned the tide. The declarations go forth. I believe the angels move. I believe it shifts atmospheres. You could shift the atmosphere of your office or your home right now with that declaration. Who cares what people think? You can say it under your breath if you're you know, working in the office. God has turned the tide. God hears you and he says, yeah, keep declaring it. I have turned the tide. Relationships, finances. Um, someone needs a tide turned on your healing. Jesus, thank you for that healed knee. Thank you for that healed back. Thank you for that diabetes. Thank you for that person recovering from a heart attack. You have turned the tide. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Wow, I love this in verse 17. I didn't die, I lived. And now I'm telling the world what God did. I bet you he was excited about it, as excited as I'm sharing. Psalm 118 in the message. God tested me, he pushed me hard, but he didn't hand me over to death. Swing wide the city gates, the righteous gates. I'll walk right through and thank God. I believe some of you believe the tide has turned and you're gonna walk right through your situation, giving God thanks along the way. The temple gate belongs to God so the victors can enter and praise him. The victors, the wides open. Declarations shift atmospheres. You walk on right through there. Thank you, God, he's saying, <clears throat> for responding to me. Whew. God, God, we love you. Blessed are you who enter in God's name. From God's house, we bless you. I, I'm going to just ask, ask, say the house of wine. Blessed are you who enter the house of wine in God's name. We bless you. I speak blessings now. God is God. He's bathed us in light. Festoon the shrine with garlands. Who knows what that means? Hang colored banners. I think it's a celebration. Above the altar. You're my God and I thank you. Oh my God, I, I'll lift your praises high. Thank God he's so good. His love never quits. God has turned the tide. Think about that. Rest in that. Declare that. Can you imagine if just 100 people started declaring that in their situations? So excited for you. So that's what we're, I've got this divine dresser word. I'm saving it that has to do with God has turned the tide. But I'm saving it for the Kingdom Enter Academies. We redeem your voice, voice camp. We're only in the second week. We've barely got started. It's a place where we learn how to find our voice. We learn how to speak from our identity. We learn that 
the aim, the authenticity, uh, being authentic from our identity creates a story which creates our message. Redeemyourvoice.com. I'd love you to join us. So as we're just declaring this, we're redeeming our voice. Some of you need your voice redeemed. Some of you need to find your voice again because you are the forerunners. You are the kingdom champions. You are the ones who have something in your very DNA that's connected to God. So it's connected to your voice, whatever you do. Might be your coaching that's all in jigsaw puzzles. It might be in just finding your voice in your own family. Some of you do that beautifully. Wonderful. It might be finding your voice at work. It might be finding your voice in the midst of a relationship. Redeemyourvoice.com. Let's we'll talk about it and declare that God has turned the tide. I'll leave you with that thought. I'll leave you with that thought and that declaration and that praise. So, share this after it's done. Someone needs to be reminded right now, today, they're facing a situation, maybe a child is sick, and they believe in God for healing for that child, or a wayward child that needs to come back home. Put in the atmosphere, God's turned the tide. God has turned the tide, and he's turned the tide for you. I'll talk to you in the next video, and I really do love you.